Hi, I am Dr. Vaibhav Deraje. I am a consultant craniofacial and plastic surgeon, Bangalore. Craniosynostosis can be mainly classified into two types. One is non-syndromic craniosynostosis and other one is syndromic craniosynostosis. Now in non-syndromic craniosynostosis, the incidence of low IQ or mental retardation is almost zero. Whereas in syndromic craniosynostosis, about 10 to 15 percent of the children can have mental retardation and a lower IQ than normal children. Now, the craniosynostosis per se doesn't affect the growth of the child, but it can affect the growth of the brain. There can be delayed developmental milestones in a child. There can be speech and learning difficulties. And as I mentioned before, in a syndromic craniosynostosis, there could also be mental retardation in 10 to 15% of the children.